Introduction. Every day, millions of people live with diabetes, and most of them are following advice that's decades old. Avoid sugar completely. Eat six small meals a day. Fruit is dangerous. You've probably heard all of it before, but here's the truth. Most of what you've been told about diabetes isn't just outdated. It's keeping you sick, tired, and frustrated. For years, the medical industry has focused only on medication and glucose numbers, ignoring how your lifestyle, meal timing, and nutrient balance affect your metabolism. It's not just about what you eat, it's about how your body uses what you eat. Today, we're exposing the 10 biggest myths about diabetes that silently sabotage your progress. These myths keep your insulin high, your energy low, and your motivation fading. And once you know the truth, everything changes. Because managing diabetes doesn't mean restriction, fear, or confusion. It means understanding your body's signals and responding the right way. Stay until the end, because the last myth is the one that even most doctors still believe, and it's probably the reason you can't get your blood sugar under control. Comment below which myth you've believed until now, and don't forget to subscribe to Dr. Adam Watanabe for daily science-based tips that actually work. Myth number one, you should completely avoid sugar forever. This is one of the oldest and most harmful myths. People think cutting out every gram of sugar is the solution, but it's not about total elimination, it's about control and context. Your body actually needs glucose to function. Your brain, muscles, and organs all depend on it. The real issue is insulin resistance, not sugar itself. When you eat small amounts of natural sugar, like from fruit or whole foods, combined with fiber, protein, or healthy fats, your blood sugar rises more slowly. It's processed efficiently, providing energy without a spike. On the other hand, Cutting out all sugar completely can lead to extreme cravings and binge eating later, creating even bigger swings. The key is balance. Avoid refined sugars, sodas, pastries, and ultra-processed foods, but don't fear the occasional natural sweetness from an apple or a handful of berries. When eaten correctly, these foods can help stabilize your blood sugar instead of hurting it. Remember, the enemy isn't the taste of sweetness, it's the constant insulin overload. Comment below what's the one sugary food you still crave sometimes. And before we go to the next myth, hit subscribe so you never fall for misleading health advice again. Myth number two, if you take medication, diet doesn't matter. Many diabetics fall into this trap. They think that once they're on metformin or insulin, their food choices don't matter as if medication replaces discipline. But the truth is, no pill or injection can outwork a bad diet. Medications help regulate glucose in the short term, but if you keep feeding your body processed carbs, refined oils, and artificial ingredients, your cells remain insulin resistant. Think of medication as a seatbelt. It protects you from danger, but it doesn't mean you should crash the car on purpose. Your body heals when you lower inflammation, improve nutrient quality, and time your meals right. When you eat real food, protein, leafy greens, healthy fats, you give your body what it needs to naturally regulate insulin. Over time, many patients even need less medication, not more. But when you rely solely on drugs, your condition often gets worse, not better. So next time you hear someone say, I can eat this, my meds will fix it. Remember, medication can support your journey, but it can't replace a smart lifestyle. Do you believe diet plays a bigger role than medicine? Comment below and subscribe to Dr. Adam Watanabe for real science, not pharmaceutical slogans. Myth number three, fruit is bad for diabetics. This one scares people into avoiding the very foods that could help them heal. Many diabetics are told to avoid fruit because it's full of sugar, but not all sugars are equal. The sugar in fruit comes with fiber, water, antioxidants, and vitamins that slow digestion and actually improve how your body handles glucose. When you eat fruit in moderation, especially berries, apples, and citrus, your blood sugar rises gently, not sharply. These natural sugars are wrapped in nutrients your body recognizes. But when fruit is turned into juice or eaten in excess, that natural balance disappears. The danger isn't the fruit, it's the form and timing. Whole fruit after a protein-rich meal supports digestion and insulin sensitivity. Fruit juice on an empty stomach spikes glucose and energy crashes. So no, fruit is not the enemy. It's a tool, one that can help restore vitamins, reduce cravings, and protect your cells from oxidative stress. What's your go-to fruit? Comment below and if you've ever avoided fruit out of fear, hit that subscribe button to start learning what really heals your body. Myth time four, carbs are the enemy. Carbohydrates have been unfairly blamed for every diabetic problem. But the truth is, not all carbs are created equal. Your body needs some carbohydrates for energy, brain function, and hormone balance. The key is choosing the right type and timing them correctly. Refined carbs like white bread, pasta, cookies, and breakfast cereals digest rapidly, flooding your bloodstream with glucose. 
But complex carbs like quinoa, lentils, sweet potatoes, and oats release energy slowly, keeping blood sugar stable. When combined with protein and fiber, they actually improve insulin sensitivity over time, completely cutting carbs off and backfires. Your metabolism slows down, stress hormones rise, and you crave junk food more intensely. Instead of fearing carbs, learn to master them. Pair them with good fats and protein, eat them earlier in the day, and avoid naked carbs, those eaten alone without fiber. Balanced carbs nourish your muscles, brain, and gut bacteria, all vital for diabetic health. Remember, it's not about zero carbs, it's about smart carbs. Myth 10 5, skipping meals helps control blood sugar. Many people believe skipping breakfast or lunch will save calories or keep sugar low. But for most diabetics, this creates the opposite effect. When you skip meals, your blood sugar may drop temporarily, then rebound sharply when you finally eat, forcing your pancreas to release even more insulin. Prolonged fasting without guidance can trigger cortisol, your stress hormone, which raises glucose levels even without food. This constant up and down cycle exhausts your metabolism and leads to fatigue, cravings, and insulin resistance. Controlled intermittent fasting can be helpful if done properly with medical supervision, nutrient-dense meals, and hydration. But skipping meals randomly is a recipe for chaos. Your body doesn't want starvation, it wants stability. Aim for consistent, balanced meals that nourish rather than punish. Think of eating as feeding your cells, not your cravings. Have you ever skipped meals thinking it was helping? Share below and don't forget to subscribe to Dr. Adam Watanabe for real science-backed diabetic guidance. Myth number 6. If your blood sugar is normal, you're healthy. This is one of the most dangerous myths because it gives a false sense of security. Many diabetics check their glucose, see a normal number, and think everything's fine, but blood sugar is only one piece of the puzzle. You can have normal readings and still suffer from insulin resistance, inflammation, and oxidative stress, silently damaging your organs. Think of blood sugar as a snapshot, not the whole movie. Your insulin levels, A1C, triglycerides, and inflammation markers reveal what's really happening inside. If insulin stays elevated just to keep glucose normal, that's like keeping a fire burning under control while smoke fills the room. The damage continues even when the surface looks calm. Real health isn't just stable numbers, it's how efficiently your body manages energy, repairs cells, and maintains sensitivity to insulin. The goal isn't a temporary fix, it's metabolic healing. So if your doctor says your glucose is fine, ask deeper questions. Are you truly reversing insulin resistance or just managing symptoms? Comment below. Do you monitor your insulin or only your sugar levels? Myth number 7. Once you have diabetes, you can't reverse it. This myth keeps people stuck in fear. Many believe diabetes is a life sentence, something you can only manage and never improve. But countless studies prove the opposite. With the right lifestyle, type 2 diabetes can be reversed or drastically reduced. When you reduce processed foods, manage stress, sleep well, and move daily, your body starts healing. Insulin sensitivity improves, fat around the liver and pancreas decreases, and your metabolism resets. Patients who once depended on multiple medications have regained energy and lowered their A1C naturally. The problem isn't your body, it's the misinformation you've been given. Your body wants to heal. It just needs the right environment to do so. Reversal doesn't mean perfection, it means progress. Every meal, every walk, every night of good sleep moves you closer. Do you believe diabetes can be reversed? Comment yes if you do and subscribe to Dr. Adam Watanabe to see what science really says about recovery. Myth I buy 8. Fat is bad for diabetics. For decades, we were told fat clogs arteries and causes heart disease, especially dangerous for diabetics, but that's only half the story. The real danger isn't fat itself, it's the wrong kind of fat. Processed vegetable oils, trans fats, and hydrogenated spreads damage your cells, cause inflammation, and worsen insulin resistance. Healthy fats, however, do the opposite. They stabilize your energy, slow down sugar absorption, and support hormone balance. Avocados, olive oil, fatty fish, nuts and seeds provide essential omega-3s and monounsaturated fats that protect your heart and brain. These fats also make meals more satisfying, reducing cravings and helping maintain a steady metabolism. When diabetics replace sugar and refined carbs with healthy fats, they often see lower fasting glucose, better cholesterol profiles, and improved energy. Fat is fuel, not the enemy, as long as you choose the clean sources your body recognizes. So don't fear butter from grass-fed cows or a handful of almonds. Fear the margarine, chips, and fried oils instead. Which healthy fat do you include daily, olive oil, nuts, or fish? Share below to inspire others. Myth 9, diabetes only affects blood sugar. Diabetes is a metabolic disorder, not just a sugar problem. High glucose is a symptom, the visible part of a much deeper imbalance affecting your heart, brain, kidneys, nerves, and hormones. 
Many people focus solely on blood sugar readings while ignoring the silent complications building underneath. Chronically high insulin thickens artery walls, damages small vessels in your eyes and kidneys, and interferes with brain chemistry. That's why diabetics are more likely to experience memory issues, fatigue, or nerve pain even when their glucose looks controlled. Managing diabetes means protecting your entire system, circulation, hormones, digestion, and even mood. When you eat anti-inflammatory foods, manage stress, and move after meals, you're not just lowering sugar, you're preventing long-term damage to every organ. Glucose control is just the surface. True healing happens when you treat diabetes as a full-body condition. Have you noticed improvements beyond blood sugar like energy or focus since changing your habits? Tell us below. Myth number 10, you can't enjoy food if you're diabetic. This might be the most discouraging myth of all. Many people think managing diabetes means eating bland, joyless meals forever, no flavor, no fun, no freedom. But that couldn't be further from the truth. When you understand how to combine the right nutrients, food becomes your medicine and your pleasure. You can enjoy delicious meals every day if you cook smart. Cinnamon in your coffee can help lower fasting glucose. A piece of dark chocolate after dinner supports nitric oxide production, improving circulation. Herbs like turmeric and garlic reduce inflammation and enhance insulin sensitivity. Flavor and healing can live in the same dish. The secret is not deprivation, but awareness. Avoid added sugars and refined flours, yes, but season your meals boldly. Experiment with spices and focus on whole, vibrant ingredients. Your taste buds will adapt and soon you'll crave freshness instead of processed sweetness. Food doesn't have to be your enemy, it can be your greatest ally. Comment healing through food if you believe healthy eating can still be delicious. Conclusion, most people with diabetes aren't struggling because their bodies are broken, they're struggling because they've been lied to. Decades of myths have convinced them that health means punishment, that medication replaces change, that recovery is impossible. But the truth is simpler. Your body wants balance, it just needs you to stop fighting it. When you eat real food, move daily, sleep deeply, and manage stress, your body begins to reset. Insulin sensitivity improves, energy returns, nerves heal. Your numbers start to move in the right direction naturally. So the next time someone tells you this is just how it is, remember, science and thousands of success stories say otherwise. Diabetes doesn't define you, your habits do. Which myths surprised you most today? Comment below, your story might help someone else. And don't forget to subscribe to Dr. Adam Watanabe for daily videos that uncover what mainstream medicine ignores because real healing begins with the truth.